amazing is it? It's a wonder. See your strength as a woman. See. See your strength. You are important. Don't allow the culture, the demonic part of our culture to make you feel funny about yourself. When I was born, people cried for my father. A girl, what will she ever amount to? Today, until I have sat, they can't sit. If you have only boys, you need to pray that God will give your boys correct wives. You don't have a girl. And you think you don't finish. No. You need girls. A girl is important in your life. Who will cover you in the evening of your life? Who will be there for you in the evening of your life? You're very important. You are a walking miracle. And the Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 3 from verse 27. Galatians 3 20, from 27. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Neither is there bond nor free. There is neither male or female. It doesn't matter what the African culture is saying. The woman is not inferior to the man. We're not competing. We are just unique. We stand side by side with them. We're not standing behind them. We're not standing in their front. We're standing side by side with them, collaborating with them to accomplish and fulfill our destinies. So as a woman, you've got to understand it. You are not supposed to be a footman that everybody just treats anyhow. You must not be proud. You must not be egocentric. No. But you must be comfortable. You must know your right. You must know that God created you not to waste you. Please take this home and begin to believe in yourself. Don't just believe in yourself. Celebrate yourself. Don't just celebrate yourself. Invest into yourself. Pour into yourself. There is almost no day I'm not on the internet. Read newspapers. Associate. When I came up stage the, the first time, I said to you, network. Some of these women, you may never meet them again. If Jesus tarries, you will still meet them. But if not, you may never meet them again. All these women that are sitting, psychologists have discovered that you are only four people away from the person that will help you. There is somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that will help you. That is why you must treat people well. Stop being proud. Stop being unnecessarily proud. Treat people well. Because you don't know what they can become tomorrow. There's nothing. I was in the, you know, at the salon a few days ago. And I saw this lady. And for no just reason, she was almost mean. You know, she was angry. And then I got to know that she was tired. Because she traveled. Or so, and she just returned everything. But I was just extraordinarily nice to her extraordinarily nice to her i made up my mind that every time i see a woman i must sow something into her life i might tell her you look beautiful i can tell her i like your shape i can tell her oh your name is fantastic because i'm a woman and i know what it means to be a woman every opportunity i have i want a woman never to meet me and live the same so i try to be nice to this lady and she was still you know and then i was under the dryer steaming my hair and i i, I had to receive a call as I began to speak, she just turned suddenly. Yes! I know this voice. I hear you every Saturday morning while I'm jogging. You are Mrs. Adejuma. Thank God I was nice to her. And then she came close to me and she knelt and she said, If I begin to speak, I will be crying. And she was crying. You have blessed my life. And I said to myself, Oh, look, I love you. Imagine if I had said, Madam, what's wrong with you now? Nah, this is how she would have said, Are ah, you preach? Oh, and ah, you preach many years ago. I think about 26 years ago, I was driving. You know, no, it's not up to that because I started preaching on TV, I think around 1999. I was, I was driving, and it was this very narrow way. And I had stopped because ah, you are a pastor's wife in the city. Everybody knows you. Then you preach on TV. So you must always behave. So I was trying very hard to behave. And everybody was just coming and coming. And I had my opportunity to go. But this man was just speeding. I just said to myself, Psh. and both of us had to struggle. When he got to my side, he rolled down and said, the woman. The woman is the name of my TV program. She just said, the woman. I was so ashamed of myself. I wish I had waited for one more minute. You don't know what anybody can become. You don't know who is watching. 
She don't know. So behave like people. People that are blessings in my life today, I met them under very, very strange circumstances. At the airport, Heathrow or something. Sometimes today they are huge blessings to me. Collaborating with me in the grace of God upon my life and my life assignments. Treat people well. From today, take this home. Treat people well. In my village, they say, Igbera Ganin, charge you Igbera Shonle. If you don't want to Igbera Shonle, if you don't want to hit your body on the ground, don't Igbera Ga. What are you carrying that you are means? What is it that you are carrying? What is it that you have? In the kingdom of God, there are no achievers. We only have receivers. What is it that you have that you did not receive? And why doest thou as if thou did not receive it? Treat people well because it may be their turn tomorrow. Hallelujah.